This is the Alan Fun Show, April 6, 2012. Hey guys, this is the this is the Alan Fun Show. I'm Alan Fun. Today is Friday, April 6, 2012, and uh, here are some news. Some weird weather news. Uh, there's been there's been some several tornado outbreaks in Texas, uh, which have caused some new uh sig significant da significant damage to Texas. Um, more, most notably the the um, evidence of flying tractor trailers inside a tornado, uh, which has come. Um, the winds were pretty strong. Uh, some of the tornadoes were up to like, were, were up, um almost at speeds of like, hundred and fifty miles. Uh, it's kind of kind of weird seeing a lot of tornadoes in Midwest now. Like usually in the beginning of the year, it's not usually a lot of tornadoes, but but uh, this is unusual because of all that um, warm weather um, that's been firing up across the eastern part of the United States. That's that that could be the reason why there's several tornadoes um, firing up uh, in the Midwest as of right now. However, there's a, uh, no one has died in twisters, which should be a good thing. Uh, this been uh because um last year in Joplin, Missouri, there's like there's been numerous people died, uh in um <clears throat> in that twister. Um, I'm not sure about how many people died. Oh, I'm pretty sure I don't remember how many people died in the March twister. Uh, you should go back to the March. You should go back. I don't remember. I don't even remember which what show you should go. Star Wars. Uh, this been um. Several games has been released um this week uh for the Connect, including Star Wars Connect, which includes um some kind of dancing program. One of the songs on the dancing program is um Han Solo, which is part of Riding Solo by Jason Derulo. Pretty cool, pretty cool song to dance to. Like I'm solo, I'm Han Solo, I'm Han Solo, I'm Han, I'm Han Solo solo. Some awkward f piloting news thing. Some I mean uh to be honest, uh awkward aviation news. Two Navy pilots have been ejected from the jet and sent fire carry into apartments destroying buildings in Virginia Beach, Vir Virginia Beach, Virginia. Is that the location? I'm not sure, really sure. Uh, yes, it is. Um, where according to the Washington Post, a fire jet that have that malfunctioned just after takeoff hurtled into a Virginia Beach apartment complex on Friday. In this particular crash, that sent flames and black smoke billowing from the rubble. The two pilots managed to eject just before an impact. Suffered minor injury injuries along with five others on the ground. Several residents described hearing a loud explosion and looking out their windows see the red and orange blaze. In the confusion that followed, two men helped one of the blood bloody fly islets from the two seat F eighteen horn move to safety. Um it's kind of a kind of a weird thing to happen to see a fighter jet crash into a certain building and see blood coming out of the the fire pilot. Uh, it's kind of awkward. I've never seen this happen in my life. In some recent lottery, lottery news, uh, Mega Millions have, um, has confirmed three winners in the March 30th drawing uh, for the 640, 640 million dollar jackpot. Uh, one was in Illinois, Kansas, and Virginia, and, um, not Virginia, Maryland. Sorry if I screwed it up. Uh, it's, a good, it's a good thing they got so lucky so fast just by um, playing the lottery. Mm, if you people you want to win some big money, maybe you should encourage yourself to play in the lottery. Because of the long amount of time people have not won Mega Millions, uh, the jackpot has increased uh, steadily, steadily day by day, um, uh, from like twelve, like several million dollars, so so many million dollars. Kind of weird seeing that happen, but Mega Millions will have has to do that. They can't just keep the money at the same place if no one wins. You know? In relationship news, um Kim Kardashian is planning to go out with uh is planning to go in, into a relationship with Kanye West after breaking up with whoever it is like a few months ago. Um according to the New York Daily News, Kim Kardashian is Kim Kardashian <laughs> is keeping up with the hype over her rumored rebound with Kanye West. This brun the brunette bombshell Kim Kardashian Kim Kardashian <laughs> Third, uh, stopped by NBC's Today um, on Friday, April 6th, and giggled for a series of questions about her war on Danny's spree with the 34-year-old uh, dapper rapper named Kanye West, obviously. Uh, um, they uh, Today asked if, if, she, uh, if Kim enjoyed the Hunger Games with Kanye. Uh, pretty sure they did. Pretty sure they did. 
Um, as she said, the movie was really interesting. Um, as Kim told Anne Curry with a laugh, like pretty much, pretty much Kim likes to laugh a lot. Uh, <laughs> and Kim says, "I'm glad that Matt Lauer is not doing the interview on this on this part, you know, with the Kanye questions." Where Curry laughed too, but took the challenge to dig deeper. Um, this interview was kind of awkward, just like someone was kind of laughing about him. But I'm not really sure if this is awkward or not. I'm not. I'm not really sure if this is awkward to other people, but I'm pretty sure I think this is kind of awkward to see people laugh during an interview, where like everyone gonna like, get into stage fright. You know, like you just don't feel like you're ready for an interview, and you all of a sudden like. You just sit there, do absolutely nothing, and wait, wait, wait until you know what to say, and if you don't know what to say, you just like, uh, that. Well, that happens to people sometimes. In YouTube news, YouTube uh, has uh, did another April Fool's prank to the website by releasing a YouTube collection, which um, includes a home button on every single video, which takes it to the main menu. Uh, select the scene they uh, they want to. It will, it's like the scene they want to go, and it'll take them to like a certain point of the of a ver of a certain video. Um, and the YouTube collection is pretty much expensive, but in, but at least it's an April Fool's joke. That's it for our show today. I'm Alan Fung. I'll see you next Friday. Sorry if this is a bit short.